Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel. And um, one of the things that we uh, don't talk about too much, uh, but uh, from time to time, I like to kind of mention uh, different ways that you're being tracked. And one of them is a way that you might never think of. And, you know, the, most people don't have necessarily the knowledge of technology to make them understand uh, certain things that they do every day and that actually um, have you tracked in multiple ways. So I talked about tracking in the browser and how, you know, uh, it's something that we don't see, but it's actually done and it's done intensely in some browsers more than others. But one of them has to do with wireless technologies we used and in this case, Bluetooth. I often often tell people and tell everyone you know if you don't use your bluetooth on your device turn it off and even if you use it uh, turn it on only when you need it and um, one of the things that i think is cool that might be happening soon so you see here it's mine's turned off if i turn it on i can turn it on and you know and i can go and see if i you know see other devices um one of the things, and, and actually you can even see how it can see, uh, detect things that aren't even yours. If I go here in the settings, just to give you an example, and I go into devices, and then I, Bluetooth is on. So um, you can see add Bluetooth devices. Let's, let's detect anything so uh, wireless display or dock so let's see what it's going kind to of find here while i'm talking so roku i don't have a roku so this isn't mine um so you know there's this tracking going on and the possibility of seeing devices around you and and some of it's nice but uh, one of the things that i wanted to say today is that there is a um a general consensus that Apple and um, Google have been talking about how they want to implement features that will let you know um, if you're um, being you're being um, you know tracked or not and because there's tracking devices that exist and it can be used in so many ways and um, that, of course, which is interesting, is that these tracking devices um, can be used at, you know, to track you really where you are at different places and everywhere uh, using Bluetooth. So by turning it off, you know, it prevents a lot of the tracking going on. Uh, Wi-Fi is also used the same way. Um, you know, I often tell people you're going into public spaces turn off Wi-Fi and turn off Bluetooth like that. The, you're going to minimize the tracking because all the places that could check for your signal will not see it. All you'll be is connected to, you know, your cell tower, your nearest cell tower for the connectivity and that's it. So as you see here, there's an unknown device, easy linker, which I have no idea what it is. Media audio. I don't know what that is. TY Android TV is possibly my TV here that I know is my TV in the living room the Samsung 7 series but you know you could see how a lot of things can be tracked and viewed even without you know your knowledge so I think that the idea behind having a, a pop-up showing that says hey you're being tracked or you something's tracking you right now is a really good idea but until then, I'll say it again and again, um, the way that you can be tracked with all of these technologies, um, you know, consider turning off the Bluetooth and even the Wi-Fi, like I said, if you're not using it, so that you minimize the visibility of your devices everywhere. And on your PC at home, turn off Bluetooth if you don't need that. Turn it on only when you need it things like that and even on your devices you might consider hey I want to turn off the Bluetooth from my TV my smart TV or there are ways uh, to do so in the devices themselves uh, so that you minimize their visibility everywhere 
If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.